guys, I'm Jen Rosenbaum and I'm a breast cancer survivor. Back in 2017, I was diagnosed with invasive lobular carcinoma. I was stage 2B and I opted to have bilateral mastectomies with implant reconstruction along with eight rounds of chemotherapy. I had CMF chemo, which they sometimes say you're not going to lose your hair or as much hair, but I was really, really worried about losing my hair. I felt like I couldn't control having cancer. I couldn't control losing my breast, but my hair was something that I could control. So I did the best that I could and I decided to opt for cold capping. Cold capping is when you wear a device on your head during chemotherapy that freezes your scalp. And the point is that it closes the capillaries or shuts them down dramatically so that the chemo doesn't really get to your head and that therefore your hair doesn't fall out. Uh, it was a really interesting process. There's a couple of different ways to do it. You can get um, the cold caps from an outside source. You can do it at the hospital that you're being treated at if they have a system, which is how I did it. My hospital had a system built in. So um, I would go to the hospital half an hour early. I would have the cold cap put on. What they do is first you wet your head down and then you put this really tight um, kind of cap on your head that fills with some sort of something chemical or whatnot that's really, 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 really cold. And then there's like a helmet that goes on over it. It just kind of straps everything in super tight. They wanna make sure that the cap is touching in all places. They put the machine on. You feel a kind of a rush of cold come in. Excuse my dog, he likes to be involved in all my projects. Uh, you feel this cold rush of, um, it feels like very, very, very cold water or something really super cold and it comes in and it just really cools you down. And then you wear it during your chemotherapy treatment. My chemotherapy treatment was a few hours. And then you wear it for two hours after your chemotherapy treatment. It, um, they tried to explain it to me as if it would feel like brain freeze and there is a component to that where it does feel a bit like brain freeze, um, but like a thousand times worse. And I'm only being honest because I think that, you know, if you wanna learn the medical stuff, you ask a doctor. If you wanna learn the reality of something, you ask a patient. Um, and the reality is it was actually quite painful. Um, it, it, there's a period of time where I would have to just kind of close my eyes and shut out the world and just like focus on my breathing and just get through that kind of initial pain. When you get through the initial pain, then you're sort of numb so it doesn't hurt as much anymore. Um, but it is uncomfortable. It hurt my jaw. Like at the time it was like so tight around my jaw, I couldn't move, I couldn't really talk, I couldn't put earphones in, I couldn't eat anything. Um, so it did, didn't make chemo more enjoyable, I will tell you that. <laughs> Um, after the cold capping or after the cold cap was removed, then when they would take off the helmet, it was literally frozen to my head. I would have like icicles <laughs> frozen and they would have to um, peel it off. So it really, really is very cold. Um, in addition, when you're cold capping, you can't do certain things with your hair. You can't wash your hair. You can't pull your hair back or I can only wash my hair once a week. I think it was. You can't pull your hair back, you can't wear a hat, you can't brush your hair, you can't put any heat on your hair, you can't curl it, you can't cut it, you can't do anything that will upset the scalp or the follicles. Um, and it's not 100%, I, didn't, I wouldn't say it saved 100% of my hair, I would say it saved 60 to 70% of my hair. There was a certain patch back here that got really thin, I would still have hair coming out in clumps. But I have a lot of hair, as you can see now, four years later, most of my hair has grown back. So I have a lot of, of hair. And so nobody would really notice. If you knew me, you would know my hair got thin, but most people did not even notice that I lost my hair. Um, the funny thing is about the cold capping is that sometimes I think it was, it actually didn't serve me in the way that people, because I didn't lose my hair, people didn't assume that I was as sick as I was. And so it was kind of like, a, oh, you look good, you're fine, you, you know, it's all good. And I didn't fit the typical stereotype of a cancer patient. Um, so that was an interesting thing to navigate that I didn't really expect. But I do think that after my treatment was done, I was very happy that I had my hair. I would say it took about three years for it to really fill in again. Um, in fact, my four year um, diagnosis anniversary is coming up and my hairdresser just said to me recently, wow, your hair has gotten really thick again. It's starting to really feel that way now. So I would say between three and four years it took to really fill back in. 
Um, but I don't regret doing it. It is kind of expensive. I know for me, I paid about $550 a session times eight sessions. So it is quite expensive. Um, but in a lot of ways, this whole process is, and my feeling was if it gave me a sense of control in a time that felt uncontrollable, it was worth the money. Um, and I definitely don't regret doing it. Sometimes people ask me if God forbid I was diagnosed with cancer again, would I do it again? And the truth is, I don't know. I was very happy that I did it, but um, it, it was a difficult process, just like everything else that we do in this process. So there are definitely pros and definitely cons, and I hope that this gives you a little bit of insight on your decision and how you will make it. And I wish you the best of luck and good health. Thanks for watching.